Start by putting your attention at the very top of your head at the crown chakra and move your awareness straight up vertically until you find the first energy center above your head. This is the place that was the top of the golden triangle in episode one. This energy center above your head will feel like a place of increased light and vibration and it will feel like a platform where you can rest your attention on it. Apply zero point centering to the first center above your head, which is moving all of your energy and attention into the epicenter of that energy center above your head, then allowing its activated energy to stream outwards to become a radiant golden sun of divine light above your head. This is the radiance technique. Now move your energy and awareness to stream energy down from that sun above your head to stream that divine golden light down into the crown center at the top of your head. Then begin to vertically move your awareness straight down the golden thread of the central column in the midline of the body. As you move your awareness down from the crown, be aware of the structures intersecting the middle pillar feeling the golden thread move through the center of the third eye tunnel in the cave of Brahma, which we activated with the cubicle cross exercise in episode two. Move your attention down the golden thread of the middle pillar, down from the cave of Brahma, down into the throat, and then follow the middle pillar down the upper chest to connect to the heart chakra in the center of the chest. Note that whereas the physical heart is slightly offset to the left side of the chest in most people, the heart chakra is located on the vertical center line, the middle pillar. This downwards flow of divine light connects to the heart chakra on the middle pillar. Use zero point centering to move your energy and awareness into the epicenter of your heart chakra. Relax more deeply into the center of your heart, experiencing and inwardly tasting the beautiful divine love nectar held in your heart. Then as you've activated the energy in the center of the heart chakra, allow its activated energy to stream outwards to become a dynamic rose colored sun radiating out from your chest. Now that we have activated the heart chakra on the middle pillar, we can activate the vital connections between the heart and all the centers on the right and left pillars, which rely on the heart to provide divine balancing to their polarized energies. For time purposes, we will not describe activating these six centers on the right and left pillars with the zero point centering and radiance methods. However, you should in your own practice devote time to fully activating all these centers in addition to the connections to the heart center we will describe here. Now send out rays of light from the heart to connect to the little known energy centers above your right shoulder and above your left shoulder, which you used in episode one to stabilize the bottom of the golden triangle around your head. Feel the divine love from your heart Activate, balance, and support these two centers above your shoulders. Next, we have two energy centers located in your upper chest at the top of the lungs on the left and right pillars. Feel their vibration in your upper chest and lungs. Send rays of light from your heart to connect to the energy center in the upper right top of your lungs. And then from the heart, to the center in the upper left top of your lungs. Feel the divine love from your heart activate, balance, and support these two chest centers for breathing. And now we have the two energy centers located in your liver at the base of your rib cage on the right side and in your spleen at the base of your ribs on the left side. Feel the vibration of these energy centers located in these two powerful organs. Send rays from your heart to connect to the energy center in your liver 
and to the center in your spleen. Feel the divine love from your heart activate, balance, and support your liver and spleen. Now simply activate the vertical lines connecting the three centers on the right pillar. Create a line of light moving downwards from the center above the right shoulder to move down to link to the center in the upper right lung and from there downwards to link to the center in the liver. Then we'll do the same for the left pillar. Start by creating a line of light emanating downwards from the center above the left shoulder to link to the center in the upper left lung and then down to link to the center in the spleen. And to complete the activation of this section of the grid of life, we're going to activate the three horizontal lines of energy between the parallel centers on the right and left pillars. Link with horizontal lines of light the two centers above the shoulders. Then create a horizontal line of light to link the two centers in the upper lungs and then a horizontal line of light to link the two centers in the liver and spleen. You have now created a beginning level activation in your energy field of the first eight of the ten centers. This completes the structure around your heart and the heart's middle pillar emanations to support and activate both the left and right pillar. It is this connection to the centers on the middle pillar that help to balance and integrate the energies on the left and the right. Now simply close your eyes for a moment and we're going to do the energy field awareness practice again so that you can perceive what changes happened in your energy field and your awareness from this practice. Simply tune into the feeling of energy in and around your body. Then become aware of what is in your thoughts and in your emotions. How has this practice changed your internal feeling, changed your state of consciousness? Can you feel the structures that have been created in your energy body through this practice? 